Hello, Internet. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. The Utah Jazz are going to be one of the up and coming teams. Who's the other one? All that and more. My name is Darren. That is AJ. Check out the merch. This is the DNA Sports Recap. Roll the intro. But first, as a reminder, we are doing a $500 giveaway. Once this channel is monetized, five lucky subscribers will each get $100 from us as our way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for more. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk uh, Utah Jazz. I mean, the Jazz are the basketball team to talk about. Yeah, apparently. Especially if you're in Salt Lake City. Really appreciate the engagement you guys have on our, on our Jazz videos. It is literally our second highest content right now behind oddly enough baseball so it's a uh, it's an interesting it's fan base people like you apparently but yeah so the utah jazz were in the middle of the dog days of preseason where there's really not much going on we could probably follow fiba and we'll probably do a video on that at some point in the next couple of weeks when that really kicks off i think once the fiba tournament actually kicks off and leave a comment down below let us know what you do yeah. you want to see some of that coverage if so yeah we'll tune in it seems like jazz content is actually quite hot on youtube like every yeah. nba youtuber is talking about the utah jazz right now utah jazz are one of the hottest teams in the nba right now up and coming teams let's go ahead and talk a little bit about who else we have out there i see this as teams that are built similarly that have rosters built for success soon up and coming rising teams i mean the other one that, that comes to my mind immediately and this was a comment we'll, we'll tag his name on the screen because he that was kind of his idea the oklahoma city thunder they're built very similarly to the jazz i i mean i think it's just worth a conversation right like these are two yeah. teams that have a ton of draft picks they're built similarly um they've Lots drafted the players they've built players and and they're both moving in kind of the same direction yeah let's go ahead and break down uh the comparisons so let's talk starting lineup for the utah jazz what are you predicting starting lineup for utah talon horton tucker Jordan Clarkson, Larry Markinen, John Collins, Walker Kessler. Uh, let's talk OKC. What does their starting lineup look like to you? Um, I think their their potential starting lineup and Oklahoma City fans. If I mess this up, please leave a comment and tell me. Yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not a Thunder fan like I am a Jazz fan. Uh, they got Shy Gilgis Alexander. Mm -hmm. They got Josh Giddy. Right. They got Lou Dort. Jalen Williams is one of their power forward guys. Um, he was the 12th overall pick in 2022. I mean, he averaged 14 points a game last year. I'm assuming he's going to be starting next year. And then their their big time players are number one overall draft pick, Chet Holmgren, who will be returning this year. My pick for rookie of the year. Chet Holmgren? Yep. But Victor Wenbanyama, I think he's going to have a great year this year, but Chet Holmgren has had an NBA training staff for the last year. All eyes are going to be on Victor and Scoot. And yep. Chet's and just going to go out there and just play he's just ball just be, out of his mind. Yep, quietly balling out of his mind. That's exactly what I was going to say. All right, so how do you how do you uh, stack those two lineups against each other? And as far as the starting lineup? I mean, against the Thunder, that's, that's a tough matchup, dude. Chet Holmgren is going to be very difficult for Walker Kessler to guard. Jalen Williams is a stretch guy. I don't, I mean, as far as defensively, I don't think John Collins can't defend him especially being that he's only you know been in the league for a year or two. Mm -hmm. um, but Lou Dort is a lockdown defensive player that he's going to be guarding probably one of our guards and a Jordan Clarkson or Josh Giddy. He's been in the league a couple of years. He's got a ton of experience playing with Australia. Shy Gilgis Alexander is fantastic. I yeah. mean, there's better words, I'm sure, but to say it blatantly, he's fantastic. Yeah. The, the guy can ball. He's going to get even more experience playing at this really high level with the Canadian national team this year mm -hmm. at the FIBA World Cup with our guy Kelly Olenek. Right. Um, so this is going to be a matchup all year long. They're going to get four games against each other. And this is going to be one that's going to go back and forth because there's a lot of young talent all the way down the roster. Obviously, I'm a Jazz fan. I, I like the Jazz's depth. I don't even know some of the names deep into this Oklahoma City Thunder roster. And that could be a, that could be an oversight of ours. But I honestly see that that's where the Jazz have a leg up. Depth is going to be on the depth. Yep. I mean, the fact that we kept all three of our draft picks this year. Is... And, and we haven't even discussed them in a starting lineup rotation. Yeah, that all was, three was of them say. are ridiculously talented. I was going to throw that at you. What do yeah. you think the percentages are that Keontae playing in some starting minutes? I mean, I, I think the crazy part is, is I think there's any injury to the front court, a, a John Collins or heaven forbid, a Walker Kessler. I think Taylor Hendricks is starting almost immediately. This dude's really, really good at basketball, man. I would love to see it. Yeah. But he didn't want to play for some reason. Some well, reason. he wasn't medically cleared to play quite yet. I know. I'm just <laughs> kidding. I just wanted to see the guy. I wanted to see Absolutely. our top pick. Yeah. Honestly, I think Keontae has the same opportunity to have the New York rise with a little bit extra size and better shooting that Donovan Mitchell had. I absolutely agree. I could Keontae easily... George is primed for success in the NBA. Yeah. And I think if you see any missteps from THT or Colin Sexton, I think you're going to see some immediate minutes from Keontae George. And all he has to do is capitalize on a couple of those 
And just like you said, I think we've got a Donovan Mitchell type situation on our hands. So I'm super excited about that. Then we start talking draft picks and why we think that the Jazz and the Thunder are on parallel paths. Jazz draft picks are, are absolutely insane over the next couple of years. Yeah. Um, because of the Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert trades. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Jazz got one pick in 24, three picks in 25, a first and a second in 26, four firsts in 27. It just go. it's, it's insane. Yeah, it's going to be great. Nine picks in the next, what, five years? four years something like that 12 first round picks for 28 blows my mind but yeah but oklahoma city has even more yeah they have even more yeah four and firsts in 24 and 25 i would argue six firsts in 26 darren <laughs> six first round picks that's like the whole first round belongs to oklahoma city oh, wow <laughs> i guarantee you they start trading those away depending on how their team looks so so that's kind of the conversation that i wanted to have though is at what point do they make a move with some of these picks to get a player in and, and Oklahoma City fans, who do you want to see the, the Thunder move, right? Uh, I, again, I'm not super familiar with the ro this roster, but is there someone on there that you'd you'd be okay doing without to bring in to, to elevate this team to a deep playoff run? Veteran players with some playoff experience to kind of yeah. bring in that experience, that locker room experience for them. Because I don't know. I think out, out of the two, the Jazz are set to contend a little sooner. I agree because they have a lot more established veteran leadership on the team and established playoff experience on our team Yep. Uh, than the Thunder have. So, uh, but I honestly think the Thunder are in a better position for a long-term success than Utah is. So. Yes. The, the, the Thunder have a ton of long-term assets that will continue to put them in a position to be successful whenever they choose to be successful. Right. When you have that many first round picks, you can say, okay, we need to add a player. Let's, I mean, I'm okay dealing two or three picks for Dame Lillard. That's, that's the discussion though. Like, yeah, where do you see that, that? We get that in the comments a lot when we talk about the Jazz. A lot of people are thinking the Jazz aren't going to try to compete for a playoff position this year and they're just going to see what they can get draft pick wise. I think that I, I honestly think the Jazz are done, you know, stocking picks. I think that's done for them. I think if it comes their way, great in a trade, but I think they're done. I think they're trying to push for to compete this year. I, I totally agree. I think the Jazz have moved from a they from a position where they needed to obtain some draft assets to we need to start winning some basketball games. And Danny Ainge, it appears that he's on board with that. You will find out real quick where the Jazz want to do is if we're completely wrong on starting lineup and you see our rookies playing substantial minutes, more than Absolutely. 25 minutes a game. You'll find out real quick if they're still in that rebuild mode. I don't know, man, because I can see it go both ways. They want to see what they got with these three guys, you know, see what they have with those three. But honestly, I think... You know, with all the nostalgia play and the new putting the jazz back on K Jazz, a new streaming service, I think they want to put a quality product on the floor that people are willing to pay a subscription fee. My vote is we can see all these rookies play when when the veteran team that we were able to put on the floor is blowing them out by 30 or 35 points. Oh, okay. There you go. You know what I mean? There you go. That's like that's that. the perfect time to see all those rookies play. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, I love it. Come on, Jazz. Will Hardy. This isn't a hard equation. Yeah, we'll give that one to you free. Yeah. And the next one, <laughs> there's a consulting fee for it. I'm I'm actually really excited for the Oklahoma City and Utah games this year. Yeah, I think they'll be good. I yeah. think there's four head-to-head -head matchups this year, right? Yep, there should be four. Yeah. The same division. So that, that that would be good. Hopefully it's not like last year, man, like where you have played the same team. And I'm, I'm curious to see how it works out with the new in-season tournament and all that kind of stuff too, because some That's of those true. are going to be in-season in tournament games, and I haven't seen the whole schedule yet. So without really diving into it, it's kind of tough. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that shapes out. Uh, but again, folks, let us know in the comments down below what you guys think, uh, who you think is going to come out on top. I think this is a great B story to follow in the NBA this year. Who's going to have the better year, OKC or Utah? Who's got the better future? Who's going to contend sooner? And all that good stuff. So let us know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, we are way off base on this. So let, let us know. know in the jazz. If you got other ideas, we love them. Like I said, this was from a viewer. So, yeah, yeah, definitely uh, it was, do it. It was a great comment. Yeah, appreciate it. Well, again, we will comment you down below. Uh, to make sure you get your due credit for that. So again, let us know if you guys want, want us to talk about anything else. As a reminder, uh, we are giving away $500. The first $500 that we earn in AdSense revenue from YouTube, we're going to be giving back to our subscribers. We're going to be picking five subscribers. Each one of them are going to receive $100. And we're just going to give that back to you folks once this channel is monetized. Hit the subscribe button. It could be you. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like it. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. This is available as a podcast. You will see at the end card over that way. You'll see the playlist for all the full episodes that are available as a podcast. You can also find us wherever you find your podcasts. My name is Darren. That is AJ. This has been the DNA Sports Recap. Till next time.